Welcome to a review <coughs> today of the Isle of Wight stuff I got from the island and we're going to start where should we start? We've got books, merch in here, we've got stuff down here and we're going to start with this uh, on the floor oh. here we have Isle of Wight beer this is one of the breweries on the Isle of Wight and um, it shows you all the different ones they have here I'm going to show you um, the different beers on the Isle of Wight there's so many I'm surprised I was sport for choice I just picked up four three I know and one I've never tried so let's get to it and go through it one by one the first way one we have is called the dark side as you can read the dark side to the Isle of Wight it's a 5.0 um it's like a it's got it's like a it's got a here um it's more barley wheat uh more down on columbus hobbs yeast of the isle of wight it's got a very a very dark ruby and full-bodied strong owl hopped with with northern hakasan hops yeah it's really i've had this before it's it's quite heavy. it's quite dark and quite heavy it's like a malt very strong malt beer but it's really delicious. It goes perfect with um, any meat dishes. So yeah, so I might be having this with some meat dishes during, uh, during, 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 throughout this week. <laughs> and this one we have here is the next one because this one was uh, the Yates Brewery. You can see the Yates. This one's Goddard's Brewery. Um, what's interesting about the Yates Brewery, they use the spring water that comes from the island um, it comes up in the Isle of Wight, in the island, and they use that within their beers. Interesting fact to know. And Goddard, Goddard's is another one. This is called Fuddle Dee Dum. Um, this is a 4.8. And this is like a wheat malt uh, hob. Uh, it's very strong, actually. Um, very nice drink. Um, the dates on these are quite good. It means I can have these for Christmas. So, yeah, <laughs> it's a good thing. But yeah, I'm going to really take my time drinking these because they are, it takes, you can't drink it in one go. You're like, go, 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 finish. It's not like one of those beers. You have to really appreciate the beer, the quality of the beer. Yeah, it takes time drinking one of these. You can buy these on the island when you go out, places to eat. You can actually get these. <coughs> Our third beer, that would be... The Goddard's one, another Goddard's, is called Ale of White. I like it because it's called Ale of White. I like what they've done there. This one's a, a 3.8. It's a very lovely, beautiful one. Um, it's, a, it's a nice ale. It's like a blonde, citrusy flavour, this one. It's quite nice. This goes well if you've got like light meals, like a ploughman's lunch, where I had to like goes well with like a light meal, not a heavy meal. This is perfect for a light, with a light meal. It just goes, you can have it with a heavy meal, but it's no taste experience difference. But yeah, it's beautiful. It's nice on its own though. Let's get to the fourth one. This one is called White Knight. This is a 4.5. I've never tried this one. This one's a first. This would be a first out to try it. I've never tried it. Um, what's it saying here? Mm, it's an English ale. A strong, a very strong English ale. Um, they recommend to drink it with some um, meat meals or pie or something like that. Or oh, steak. But yeah, it's worth trying. I normally have it after, I normally have it when I have my dinner. I have to drink. I don't drink it all. And when I finish my dinner, I finish off with a drink. But yeah, it's going to be quite strong. They take a while to drink. But yeah, I'm doing these videos the day after I've been to the island. <laughs> but yeah, this is a, an interesting one because I've never tried an island brewery. It's another brewery. Um, it's called Isle of Wight Brewery Limited. I put a link in the description for all the breweries of the island, of the Goddard's, the Yates and the Island Brewery. So if you do want to check their website, you can order from them 
doesn't matter where you are from the world, you can order from them, as far as I know. Um, so you get the taste of the island to come to you. There'll be a charge of delivery because of the weight and that, but it's more experience when you go there. But if you can't do that, it's nice to know that you can bring it to you. I've even enjoyed that uh, alcohol beer review. The other be other parts of the goodies doing. And uh, don't forget to click on them if you want to continue the videos. Until next time.